Let's hold this position. Damn it, Meatpad. All this senseless killing. For freaking what? Believe it or not, Breadstick, old chum, the war started because some dude got killed. Wait, what? One dude led to millions of deaths? Yup, maybe I'm oversimplifying it a bit, though. Let's talk! More flashback! Okay. So literally every single ruler wanted to hold on to their empire so badly, they viewed everyone else's expansion with deep paranoia. Britain, Russia, and France were sort of BFFs, and on the other side, Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Italy will also be FFs. Uh, the phone! Italy? But those guys are on our side now. They change sides later. But don't get ahead of yourself. Pardon. Okay. So these guys have some informal alliance. But these guys have a defensive alliance, which means they'll all get into a fight if somebody messes with one of them. Guys, what the hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a battle! We're doing the war's origin story. Oh, interesting. Voila, monsieur. So everyone is paranoid and power hungry and have alliances and stuff. But you said this all started because one guy got killed. Meet Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Where? Shh. He's starting a flashback. Oh. Franz Ferdinand was Archduke of Austria. Pretty chill, dude. Listen, Uncle Joe. I, I mean, Emperor Joseph. There's some Serbian nationalism going on down in one of our provinces. So, I'm gonna go flex our military a bit. Have fun. Oh, and keep an eye out. There's a Serbian ultranationalist secret organization called the Black Hand, who may try to kill you. Ah, uh, okay. Bah! I'm sure to be fine! The Black Hand got to Franz Ferdinand and his wife. They were both murdered by gunshot. And that's when the war really started. They killed his wife too? Nerd. Yes, pretty barbaric. You got a wife, Breadstick? We oui, and two daughters. It's the smallest one I haven't met yet, because of the war. But that's why I'll do everything in my power to survive! <laughs> Or you son of a bitch! Like this! And this! Oh man, this looks bad. I blame my character development. <coughs> we have to find a medic! Forget it! You'll die if both of you try to carry me. I'm gonna go look for help. You take care of him. Finish it. Finish the story. I need to know what I'm bleeding to death for. You sure? It gets rather silly from here on out. Like, if I were you, I'd much rather die not knowing all this crazy sh Finish the story! Okay, so at first, people didn't really seem to care that Franz Ferdinand was killed. Like, sure, it sucked, but at least there wasn't chaos or anything but then. Sibia! Yo! What the heck, man? You killed my nephew! Aw, oh, crap. I guess some people in my government are plotting against you. Look! I know you're angry. I'm going to have to investigate this. Um, okay. Inside your country! Ah. Uh, with my own forces! Okay, but, you know, I, I don't know. Then I'll get my expansion. I mean my revenge! And that was not the end of it. Germany! What, what are you doing, doing here? Just out for a stroll. Germany! Serbia killed my nephew! It's a bit more complicated than... Do not worry. Little schnitzel brain. We will back you up if anyone, like Serbia, tries to mess with you. Oh, thanks, bestie. Okay, Serbia. Get your ass ready for invasion! Russia? What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? <laughs> Just out for a stroll. Russia, these assholes want to invade me. But only because he killed, uh, your nephew. My nephew! Oh, guys, can we not? I really like Serbia. So if you attack him, I'll have to mobilize my army to look fancy and project power at you. But if you attack Austria-Hungary, then I'll have to attack you. Which means... Wait, I didn't say attack. France! What are you doing here? Oui, uh, oui. Just out for a stroll. France! Germany is going to attack me because they think I'm going to attack him. 
because they're going to invade him because his nephew, the Archduke, got murdered. Whoa, what a mess. Yeah, you have no idea. Whoa, what the hell? Hey, relax. I came back to finish the job, but then I started hearing your story. And, yeah, this war is dumb. I'm sorry I shot you. Ugh, we are at war. Does these things happen? Can I hear the rest of the story? Sure. What the hell? Take a seat. Okay, uh, where were we? Oh, right. Something, 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 something. You invade him, I invade you, yada, yada, yada. What? Hey, guys, what's going on? Ouch! Did you just preempt to strike me through Belgium? Well, I couldn't wait for you to attack me. It was a logical move. Uh, true that. Wait! But if you attacked Belgium... What are you doing here? Yes, the joke's getting old. The little birdie told me you guys attacked my boy Belgium. Well, turns out... Let me guess, you have an alliance with them. Yep. Well, I've decided to remain a neutral for now. So yeah, that's more or less how the war started. I think he passed away while you were talking. I don't know how much he heard. Oh. Maybe it's for the best. It's not a happy story, honestly. How was it in your country? You know, when the war started. Everyone cheered. We all thought we were doing our great patriotic duty to defend our allies. That the war would be quick, because we had right and might on our side. Same in London. Whole country cheered us on as we rode off to play toys, soldiers to kill ourselves because of a bunch of power-hungry rulers who manipulate us ordinary people into fighting for them. Hopefully future generations don't let their countries be the only one telling them the history, so they're not manipulated into making the same mistakes we made. Cheers to that. World War I to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> yep, it's going to uh, be a tad awkward when we, you know, go back to killing each other. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. It would be nice, though, if it just stopped. Yes, it would be nice. Frau Van Achten, Merry Christmas to you, friend. Listen, General, I've been thinking. Should I call a medic? Did you hurt yourself? Yes. But also, what if the Brits invaded through Canada again? What if Canada became a threat? Sorry, General, uh, but if you've just got a minute. No, no, sir, I I'm sorry. What can I help you with? Sorry. Oh, sorry, no, no problem. See, I I've just had a crazy thought. What if the United States invaded us? Sorry. We need an invasion plan. Come on, you maggots! You think those Canadians will go easy on you? They're bloodthirsty animals! My plan. I call it 
Defense scheme number one. It's desperate, suicidal, and fantastic. Frankly, I love it. But we've decided to pursue peaceful relations with the U.S. So I'm going to burn this and let's never speak of it again. Sorry. Sorry. The plan is prepared. The soldiers are trained. My body is ready. Call it War Plan Red. Oh, snap. You actually did that. I mean, yeah, obviously. Shit, bro. Well, good on you, I guess. But uh, I don't think we're going to need it. Bro, why not? Have you heard of this guy, Hitball? Ah, paradise. Time to enjoy my vacation. is how you defeat France. Are you allowed to just expand like this? Wherever you want? The superior Aryan race needs more living space. We call it Lebensraum. If I want it, I take it. I couldn't agree more. That's why I'm taking more land in North Africa. I will never admit defeat. But you are defeated, perhaps. But I will never admit it. So both of you are just Taking more territory with no consequences. Interesting. Just wait until my allies hear about this. America is going to kick your German derriere. In fact, I bet America is on his way right now. Yeah, I don't feel like reading anymore. Hey, this is a private beach, you freeloader. Can't you read the sign? Oh, good day, old chap. Oh, it's you. Are you on vacation too? Pull up a chair, old buddy. I'm afraid not. Unfortunately, the war in Europe is escalating. Ah, 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 ah. Read the other sign. I see. Well, there's, um, stuff happening in Europe, and that stuff is coming our way. As an ally and a friend, I need your help with that, um, stuff. Listen, I know we've been pals in the past, but I'm an isolationist now. I don't get involved in things that uh, don't affect me. That makes you sound kind of like a selfish wanker. It's who I am now. After that big war and the other economic thing that uh, was uh, like really depressing, what was that called? The Great Depression? Yeah! After that stuff, I really just need to focus on myself. Isolationism is just a phase, but this friendship is forever. Please, Papa needs your help. Unless something affects me directly, I'm out. Why can't I be like Germany? He doesn't have to worry about resources. He doesn't worry about the borders. He can just expand. I'm a lame island that has to import everything. Why are you saying this now? Look at that tank. Um, uh, have you tried the making them up of a metal? We hardly have any metal! America has stopped importing me steel just because I'm friends with you and Germany! Isn't it because you've been at war with China? Invading parts of Southeast Asia and just uh, generally being super aggressive? A minor details! Ambitions! I should be allowed to expand just like everyone else. Then I just do it. Look at how strong you can be when you put your mind to it. I do. America might cut me off with even more supplies. It might even lead to war. Then attack first, me or amigo. Be an alpha ball. If there's a one thing I know, it's that the Germany is going to win this war. And they won't care how much you expand. Manifest your destiny. Be the best of Japan you can be. What the hell? Phone call, sir. It's Britain. Am I busy? I did, sir, but he insisted, said it was very important. What's so damn important? For the queen! 
Take that, you sorry crap hover snatch! Good lord, what the hell is happening? And is hover snatch a real word? Germany is attacking us like I said they would. We need your help, old chum. For realsies this time. Look, bro, I already told- Why does your voice sound so weird? I'm snorkeling. I'm on vacation. You've been on vacation for a bloody year. <laughs> Got it. It's toastier than a toasted crumpet up in here. <laughs> UK! UK, what's happening? Are you winning? I think I've won this battle, but I fear for the larger war, old chum. I need an ally, my friend. God damn it, fine. You've worn me down. You'll come fight with us. No, I'll do you one better. I'll send guns and tanks and ships. Wait, how is that better? <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> breaking up, I can't, <coughs> gotta go. It's just you making those sounds, isn't it? Are you sure this is a good idea, sir? Attacking America? We don't have a choice, brave pirates. They have cut us off from crucial supplies. But fear not. We have a spy amongst the Americans. The element of surprise will be ours. But won't this lead to all-out war? Yes, but their Pacific fleet will be in shambles. Oh, while they nurse themselves, we will rule the seas with the finest fleet. Finest fleet of... Okay, good talk, guys. Another, sir? I guess it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Fill me up. No, oh, this is the life, I tell you. I think all vacations should be permanent. And I can help all my allies from the sidelines where I'm completely out of harm's way. Oh, yes, absolutely. No danger. Here. Wait a second. Are you a fan of the Red Circles too? Oh, they're my favorite band! Uh, yeah, big fan. Huge. Well, I should really go take my uh, fish for a walk. Bye! Take your what for a what now? We're under attack! Man your battle stations! Man your battle stations! About that. Guess my vacation's over. So much for being an isolationist. Now, now, son, we go to war. Can we make us stop at the hospital first? Right, yeah, uh, of course. And that's why, chaps, I suggest we attack here at dawn. Agreed? Who's ready to kick some ass? I thought you were having an isolationist vacation. Nah, I'm done with that. It's fighting time. Did something happen to make you change your mind? Yes, something happened. I reflected, like, a lot. And you were right. We need to stop the Axis. And the only way to do it is together. But most importantly, I need to help an ally, a friend. If you still want to be friends, of course. You're here because of the bloody Pearl Harbor attack, ain't you? Don't you f***ing judge me! Defenses aren't quite ready, but I'm sure Japan won't attack yet. God damn it! Japan just can't stop! You've trained me well, sir. My body is red. I am angry! Angry for resources! So, tactical treat? Yes. Retreat with a vengeance! <laughs> sir, your defensive withdrawals were brilliant. But... I know, my friend. We've done all we can. You all must hold the line now. 
Who wants to go on a death march today? <laughs> okay, soldiers. Nazi should be arriving any moment now. Expect fight of your lives! I see them! They're... they're... Mein Führer, this victory will give us great advantage over the Allies. We have taken control of most of France. And we will surely win the war! Nein! It's not enough! Uh, not enough what? Space! For the Aryan race to live in! We need to think bigger! Scheiße! Like, the universe bigger? Too big! The sun, too hot! The moon, that's stage five of my master plan! Oh, oh, oh! Russia! Right on, my dude! Ahem! <coughs> I mean, ja! We will create a Germanic Aryan territory across all of Eastern Europe. To do that, we need to invade the Soviet Union. We have only to kick in the front door, and all the whole rotten edifice will come tumbling down. <laughs> To invade Russia, we'll need to have air superiority. Do you know how we're going to do that? <laughs> ja. mm, nine. Not really. Explosions! Oh, what a beautiful boy. What the f is that? Oh. I knew it was a bad idea to place our airplanes in straight line! Sir, the Nazis destroyed Air Force bases with surprise attack! Oh, This catch me off guard! Da, sir! That was... That was the point! Didn't we... Didn't we have treaty of non-aggression or something with Germans? I guess the Nazis don't give crap, sir. Yeah! that we are inside, it's just a matter of taking Moscow. Is it going to be hard? Hard? Pfft. This is just formality. Russia's basically ours already. <laughs> so that laugh was pretty evil. Are we, are we the bad guys? That's a stupid question. Of course we are. Oh, makes sense. Sir! The Nazis have advanced beyond our wildest expectations! Hundreds of thousands of soldiers have been captured! What? Okay, okay, let's all... Uh... Sir! Sir! The Nazis! Uh, stopped advancing to attack some other places before they reach Moscow! Well, that just gives us time to resupply! The Nazis underestimating us! Sir! Adolf Hitler's kind of egocentric... <laughs> Well, we won't underestimate them. At least we have something going for us. And what's that, sir? Winter is coming. Okay, soldiers. Nazis should be arriving any moment now. Expect fight of your lives! I see them! They're... They're... They're f frozen! They kind of look like zombies! Nazi zombies! Hurrah! I... I thought there was going to be a bit more fighting involved. But I guess this is... Nice. Too. <laughs> so funny, sir! Oh, so funny! So funny. <laughs> Don't laugh. 
that's not cool. Okay, okay, that's enough. Goodbye, Nazis. Have an ice day. <laughs> no, 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 stop it, sir. Stop <laughs> going. Oh, this is just like Mr. Freeze and Batman and Robin. Dude, that movie doesn't come out for another 56 years. Okay, soldiers. Show them Nazis how to get back home. Sir, how are we going to avoid getting invaded by someone else in future? Easy. If we ever feel slightly threatened, We'll just invade them first! <laughs> <laughs> so ominous, sir. Monsieur Bo? Operation Barbarossa failed. What? But, 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 we had them! How were they defeated? Well, um, it was a very cold war. <laughs> You get it? <laughs> because when I am ein von Ahn, bin ich auf ein Nacken, ob ein Trauben war! This is insane! I've never seen so many planes! Just keep focused, old chap! Your six. Yeah, toast. How did this even happen? Well, let me take you. Um, are you giving a flashback during a dogfight? I am. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, it began. Gentlemen, it's time to invade the UK. We must show them that they cannot stand up against the might of Germany. What about an amphibious attack, Mein Fuhrer? Yes, an amphibious attack. Good idea. We will launch an attack from the sea and the air. But what should we call it? What about Operation Seahorse, sir? Or uh, Operation Sea Turtle. Nine! I want a mighty animal. Ah, how about a lion? And let's add sea to it. Sea lion! I believe that's an entirely different animal, Mein Fuhrer. Nonsense! Operation Sea Lion is final! But we must gain air superiority over Britain for the operation to succeed. No problem. For we have the Luftwaffe! If they keep hitting our airfields, we're screwed! We just don't have the numbers to survive this. <laughs> now that shows them who's their fear! Now, laugh with me! Alright lads, the crowds think they can beat us, but we'll show them what we're made of. Give them a good old bushing! Such a small squadron. This won't even be a challenge. Ja, can we get this over with? I need to get back in time for Kafun Kutchen. Los kids. fighting a losing battle. Our forces are twice the size of yours. Surrender and avoid further loss of life. You might have more planes, but we have a secret weapon. Secret weapon? What could that be? Radar, baby. We see you coming from miles away. We'll always be one step ahead. And it's why we'll never surrender the likes of you. We'll see about that.
want revenge for the attack on Berlin. They even destroyed my favorite schnitzel house. But mein Führer, we've been targeting the airfields and industrial areas. Uh, attacking civilians goes against our verdammt principles. We need to show the Brits we mean business. If they think they can attack our capital without consequences. But the cost. The British will build a stronger force, which will prolong the war. Who has the mustache? You, mein Führer. Who the hell do you hail while you do salute? You, mein Führer. Then start bombing the cities. Target their homes, their families, and their, and their terriers. It's time to teach them a lesson they won't forget. As you wish, mein Führer. We will begin the necessary preparations immediately. I see enemy planes approaching. The RAF? <laughs> They're nothing! But Commander, it's them. It's Flight Command number 12. What? The RAF's most formidable Flight Command? <laughs> Looks like more enemies are coming in fast. ETA, five minutes. All right, lads. Let's show those Nazi bastards what we're made of. You mean me? Right? Yes, quite right, old chap. Beans and toast, all the way down. was a proper good scrap. Well, we showed Jerry what for, eh? They'll remember this day. But keep your eyes open, chaps. They might come back for more. This is unacceptable! How can we allow ourselves to be defeated by these inferior island penguins? How could this happen? We had the RAF on the ropes! Mein Führer, the RAF has proven to be a formidable opponent. Their pilots are skilled. No excuses! I want results! We must invade Britain and crush them! Mein Führer, an invasion of Britain would be costly. We cannot afford another defeat. Fine! For now, we postpone Operation Sea Lion. We must regroup and come up with a new plan. For the Third Reich will never end! We will crush our enemies and rule the world! <laughs> Did you notice something when the Fuhrer yelled at us? What? He always yells. Yeah, but this time it felt different. I mean, we didn't sign up for this plan, did we? I get what you're saying. But we have to stay loyal to the Fuhrer. But what if staying loyal means we're not serving our country anymore. Like, are we going against what we signed up for? I, I don't know. I guess we have to trust that the Fuhrer knows what's best for us. My dear friends, you have accomplished a remarkable feat and made history today. But the enemy still lurks on the horizon, and we must continue to fight. Let us not forget the squadrons who dealt a significant blow to the Nazi war machine. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. It's okay, son. We'll be all right. Let's see if we can find something else to salvage. Sir, it's okay to let it out. We've lost so many in this crazy war. It's okay to grieve and show vulnerability, especially in front of a family. V 
We need a gun. The biggest gun. Biggest gun. Wait, why do we need the biggest gun? The good thing we have this expensive air conditioned fortress line. We will destroy the French National Line and its silly little concrete bunkers. Now get to work. At last, my big gun is... Sir, we uh, don't need the gun. We took the Maginot Line. What? How? Oh, man. <laughs> Belgium! Such a silly country. But scheisse! Uh, then we will shoot my big gun at the Soviets! Onwards! See? Uh, if you're losing, the Soviets are coming! Scheisse! Ah, uh, goodbye, my love. Dismantle her! I won't let the Soviets have her. Going through hell, Chitty boy! <laughs> Keep going! Flame on! Ultra Time! Never, never, never give in! Barbarossa! Winter is here. How are you so flaky? Second spot, Omaha, is gonna be the toughest. It's the most fortified, but our tanks should give the infantry cover, and we'll try to hit the enemy with an old preemptive night bombing. Lastly, we set up a phantom army in southeast England, across from Pas de Calais. Then, the German spies will be tricked into telling their superiors that's where we're invading from. And hopefully, won't be prepared for our actual invasion. Montgomery, you're a mad genius. <laughs> you know, I never really liked boats. Yeah, you know me neither. When I was a kid, uh, my dad took me out on a little sailboat on a lake in upstate New York. I was scared out of my mind, and now here we are. All right, you two, enough with the dilly-dallying. Let's get this show on the road. All right, soldiers, keep your heads down. Keep sand out of your weapons! Medics, any wounded, get them behind cover! Whatever you can find until we can cut through and more armor arrives! Good luck, gentlemen! Hold on! Just hold on! Ah! My legs! Where are my legs? Uh, we all have legs! You are 
all wounded! This will kill some of the plane! Where's all the armor? There should be more tanks! <laughs> oh, I will search took a pretty bad hit from the ramp of a landing craft, old boy. Your back is broken. Will I walk again? Tough to say, but we think so. It'll be a long road, but we have physiotherapists who can work with you to help you get things going again. What about the beach, Doc? Did he push through? We did indeed. It sounds like it was a mess out there, and you guys at Omaha had it the worst of all. But you saved a lot of people out there. Yes. That mummified guy over there says you were getting guys out of the water like an Olympic swimmer. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, this is the first part. Yeah, you should have seen it. That was the first part of the You just try to relax and heal. Your service is done for now. Now we're on medical duty for you. So done with this war. I wish Adolf Hitball would just kill himself so we can all go home. Captain Lee, I've got news from Berlin. Adolf Hitball killed himself. I also wish for a million bucks. Dang it. Wait, so is the war over now? Not quite. Nazis! Don't try anything funny, you Nazi scum. Hey, don't move your arm. I said don't move your arm. I am Major Gangle. And I need your help, American. What the fuck? Have you heard of Castle Ita? The old fortress in the Austrian Alps? That's what it used to be. But then, it became something else entirely. A hotel. And after that, a Nazi prison castle. Was that a thunderstrike? Never mind. Continue. Castle Ita became a prison for high-ranking prisoners. French Prime Ministers, French Generals, and a French, uh, tennis player. You think we're gonna help you protect your Nazi prison? You German scum. Not all Germans are Nazis. Me and my soldiers abandon their cars, and we are trying to help out in any way we can. My point still stands. Why would we protect your Nazi prison castle? After Adolf Hitbar committed self-destruction, the remaining Nazis in the castle fled, leaving all the prisoners behind. The prisoners managed to arm themselves, but they have nowhere to go. 
To make matters worse, there's a division of Nazi SS soldiers heading straight for the castle to take it back and, you know, kill everyone. You want us to team up with you against a bunch of Nazis in a World War II castle siege? Yep. This is so badass, you son of a bitch, I'm in. Listen up, soldiers. Adolf Hitball may be dead, but his spirit still lives on. Or something, because he, uh, I, I don't know. The point is, let's kick some Nazi ass. Sir, yes, sir. Are you sure we can trust the Germans? This could be an ambush. They seem trustworthy, but yeah, you're right. Expect the unexpected. Roger that, Captain. Oh, man, we are all so dead. Hey, don't lose hope, Rotra. I'm sorry, Prime Minister Reynard, but there's literally no way we make it out alive. Hello? You guys need some backup? Is it just me? Or is this the most unlikely team-up of the century happening outside the castle right now? Open the gates! We need to cover every flank. So everyone, pick up a weapon and hide behind the barricade. I'll position our tank by the main gate. One question. Uh, is there any backup on the way? I spoke with Major Kramers. He's been told the castle is outside his jurisdiction, but he'll manage. I know he will. So all we have is a few dozen soldiers and a tank. Yep. We are so totally dead. What the F? They're here! The Nazis are here! And so it begins. Move, move, move! Wait, are you using a tennis racket? Shut up! I'm in my element here! Game, set, match, baby! Now'd be a good time for those reinforcements to arrive, don't you think? They're coming! Be patient! You said this was outside Major Kramer's jurisdiction. Maybe there's no help on the way. <laughs> Who gives a crap anymore? You know the difference between a medieval siege and this one? Back then, they didn't have a freaking Sherman tank protecting the gates. So as long as they... Look out! Was that a anti-tank gun? What now? The tank's down! The gate's exposed! Thank you, Sid. Who gives a crap anymore? Let's hold this place until the very end! Hurrah! Place of glory, my bros! Die, you mother Die! Get out of there! Gangle! You heroic ex-Nazi son of a gun! Don't you go dying on me! <laughs> you should always expect the unexpected, Captain. Gangle was right. We need those reinforcements now! You! You're the tennis guy, right? How could you tell? Listen, I need you to cut loose into the woods, find the reinforcements, give them the intel on the situation, and guide them here. Can you do that? I was born for this. How the hell did you do that? Hey, I am good at sports. You are good at killing people. Let's not question how we do things. Now stay alive until I'm back. Will do. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You're Gene freaking Barotra, damn it. I'm out of ammo. Renard! We are out, Captain. What now? War just couldn't end without a bang, eh? It's not a sword, but it'll do. Let's do this! Hey, Captain Lee! I found Kramers! I freaking found him! <laughs> I'll be damned! Captain Lee, your heroism in this battle will be remembered in the history books. Thanks, Major Kramers, for defying your orders and coming to our rescue. Well, it was worth it. We showed those Germans what we Americans are made of, huh? 
I think you're mistaken, Major. Not all Germans are Nazis. The Germans actually made this victory possible. <laughs> Won't argue with that, Captain. All right, boys. Let's get out of this, uh, Nazi prison castle. Yeah, Scheisse! Okay, what the f***'s up with the weather here? I if I think we bought it, old chums. They've got the high ground. Bow did you to say something so true, yet so wrong. Amigo Dio, he does not care at all that we have the high ground. Mon frère, it has been an honor to fight beside you. Yes, my brother. Now let us show them the true meaning of pain! Sneak a tank! <laughs> ah, it is the end for us! I bring you peace, my dudes. Mommy. That's the pimple! The Germans' last position! How do we- Fly grenade concern! Help the people! The maple leaf. Forever. Artillery! Fire the artillery! Oh, hey guys, you want some maple syrup for your wow. Am I ever glad that heckin' war is over? Great that we've all grown closer though, eh? You got that right, Canada. Oui, <laughs> what could go wrong now? <laughs> go fish, Soviet scum! Damn it, American pig! <laughs> you got me. Well, chums, it looks like we're out of beer. Yeah. Poland is getting antsy. Bear run! I'll go. Thanks, Canada. You're the best. Wait, is that card up sleeve? Huh, that's a bit strange. Hey, friends, I got the beer. I thought we were all going to be Berlin besties, but you three are so clicky. We just want to help our Euro pals feel better. Bullshit! <laughs> you just want power! You've been cheating this whole time! Gays? No, you just want power! <laughs> Gays? Yeah! Guys? I'm the real China! No, I'm the real China! <laughs> what the heck happened? Ooh, Molotov cocktail, nice! <laughs> Remember these? Oh, hey guys, oh, sorry we're late. <laughs> Missed me, pig! <laughs> Whoa! How'd that happen? I yield no more nooks! Booyah! I did it! I ended the war! Whoa! You mean we? We won the war? Bah, details! Maybe I should go commie hunting. Uh, uh, enough wars for now. Hunting season is closed. Relax, buddy. Deep breaths. 
Hunting season level one deactivated. For now. Haha, <laughs> friend America, how easily you forget the good times. We're still frenemies. That we can agree on. Ah, shut it, y'all. Big China wants to sleep. What a weirdo. But hey, look, after all this war, Korea's now free oh, and cute. So cute. So much potential. But can they rebuild a great nation alone? Yeah, I'll adopt him. What? Boom! Great idea. <laughs> oh, you two are in it together, huh? We can play that game too. I'm not here. We will adopt him too. Stop involving me. Well, we could share. Good idea. Wait, a sickle? <laughs> Hunting season mode is on! Level 2! Ah! Oh shoot, here we go again. Fine, you've got hunting mode, I go beast mode! Stop! Haven't we lost enough for the second war? Fine, for administrative purposes, okay? <laughs> oh, he's perfect. He's something, all right. I'll call him South Korea. That's so unoriginal. Say oil to daddy. <laughs> oh, he'll get there. Hold on, Soviet Union. What are you going to call him? North Korea is fine. Okay, but remember that. This is not a forever thing. We, we know. know. And this is your new home. Blue is the new black. Red is only color. Anyone that says otherwise is the enemy. Hey bud, until you grow up to become a good, independent country ball, Dad Murica gonna take care of you. <laughs> That's right. Now, have you heard of our Lord and Savior capitalism? Have you heard of our Lord and Savior communism? Yeah! That's my boy! March! March! Salute! Salute! 96! 97! 98! 99! 100! Freedom! Freedom in 3D! One party rules! I will bring freedom to the Korean people. I will reunify the Korean Peninsula under my own communist regime. Ah! And that clown had the audacity to invade me! <laughs> Note I said to him, Winter is coming! <laughs> Did you wake me up just to talk about the weather? Well... Hey, Mr. Soviet Union and Mr. China, I have a sick idea. Ah, uh, good night. But my idea. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Really? No. What were you saying, comrade? I'm a grown man now, and I have a dream. Oh, oh, oh a dream. Let's see if our indoctrination, I mean, education worked. I will invade, I mean, Unite the Koreas again. What? I will be the supreme leader. Everyone will love me and my communist... Wait, wait, wait. Listen, your heart is in the right place. But your brain is being crazy. Ah! Uniting Korea takes too much manpower. And it is too hard for you. <laughs> my people will fight for me. I am their family. I am their love. I... I'm their god! <laughs> You're a real chip off the old block, kid. But I still say yet. No! Why? No buts! Your army is not ready, says the guy who lost to Japan in 1905. No! That's it! Take that back! Take that back right now! Make me! Oh, you little- Enough! Do you want to get eaten? No, right? So let him have his war and leave me alone! Okay, sure! Thanks, Mr. China. Next time someone wakes me, 
There will be hell to pay! Happy? Everyone will kneel before me. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Gong A stepdad! Are you winning, son? North Korea is coming at me with like 75,000 men! Oh, my stars and spangles. Ah! Here's Song Yoon! Help! Help! Don't let the Marxists get you, son! Papa's coming! How did you get here so fast? With a little help from my friends! Now you're surrounded, you capitalist pig! Join me, and we can rule the galaxy together. And by together, I mean me. I'll never give in to communism! Corruption! Yes! Communism? Never! Then you have chosen death! We could be so much more together, my twin brother. What did you call me? Freedom! <laughs> the war is over, baby! Because now I'm here. Stop right now, North Korea! I, I'm all right. Oh, he came as well. The stepdad, uncle, brother. No, 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 no! Korea can't be all red. It's a disease, a virus. I won't allow it. I must exterminate it. Hunting season! Oh, shoot. Mr. Soviet Union was right. I totally need a China assist. Brother! Hunting wait. season! No one can stop me now. <laughs> Dead America! Ah. Uh. I think we are lost. Nonsense! You hit your head too hard. I can smell commies. Step it, Dad. We shouldn't go too far. I go anywhere I want. Yeah, anywhere we want. Hey, Step it, Dad. Uh, about what happened? You betrayed me. After all I did for you? That was really horrible, saucy boy. Hey, no. North and I may have some bad blood between us, but he's still my brother. Korea, like me. Are you a commie then? Stop with all of that. He might be different, you know, because we come from different backgrounds and all. But hey, people can change, right? We all have that potential. So instead of going all out and killing each other over these ideologies, why not try to work things out peacefully? Just a thought. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a cave. Your stepdad knows what's best. <laughs> Let's bounce. Hey, stepdad, I'm busy right now. Kami's love to hide. Yeah, come out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Come out, Kami's. I can smell you. Should we even be here? Kami's don't die by themselves. Up we go. Oh, boy. No. That's China's territory! Now you did it, suckers! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, North Korea. Sleepy Uncle China is finally awake. <clears throat> Drop your get fucking your weapons! Get your fucking 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 weapons! Get your Epic. Where should we 
Potato Show. Hey guys, what you doing? Oh, uh, what the f? Ballistic missile proliferation. Mutual annihilation unlocked. Okay, okay, okay yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just chill. By Jove, you've got this, old boy. You're the king. I'm the king. Screw you. <laughs> no kings on my playground. You. <laughs> yes, my bro. Eat his face. Bondit with a slap. <laughs> Gorilla Bandit Mobility Magic Warfare. Anti communism beatdown. Take that, Soviet Union, you loser. Hey, bro, just because they are communist does not mean his friend. Oh, biased capitalist pig. You won't let us into the cool East Berlin parties. We'll make our own. That's not party, that's NATO imperialist military pact. We can play that game too. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna? He has nukes now. I guess we solved this the old-fashioned way. You mean? That's right, baby. Proxy war! Time for the secret weapon. Okay, pig, we'll democratize, give people more freedom. So, can you chill on the rhetoric a bit? Never! Commies never sleep! They never eat! They're the greatest evil of our time! Ha, <laughs> classic USA. going to be friends with the USSR, then we're not going to finance your stuff. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just normalize the Suez Canal and you guys can pay to go through it. What? Yo, what's good, fam? <laughs> cool, cool. Totally down. Get your hands up now, mother... <laughs> Do you want to die? Do you? I just wanted friends. Okay, new plan, Egypt. Since you guys are having problems, we'll just occupy the canal, enforce peace, and reap all the profit. Hey guys, it's nice you still want to do international relations and colonialism still, but, uh... Could you just not? We have it covered now, grandpas. <laughs> No, Estonia. <laughs> Why do the Poland ah! come to capitalism? Human fit the feet of freedom! <laughs> this planet is now under separatist control. 
Take a breather. Yes, maybe well, you could try Cold War. Just like borscht of geopolitical conflict. Very tasty. What's your name? What? What is your name? Korea! Fuck you, I'm Korea! No, fuck you! Hold on. We we haven't actually been fighting for like 70 years. You raise a good point. Can we just agree that uh, we're not at war anymore? Oh, I, I guess in principle. Yeah, but just just one tiny insignificant thing. Sure, yes, please. Let's dialogue. Get rid of those punk ass American imperialist pigs military bases. <laughs> no, we ain't leaving till you throw out your nukes. I'll throw them, all right. It's your face. Oh, I'm so done with this shit. Oh, boy. Can't wait to compete in these Olympics. <laughs> Thanks for hosting this year, Canada. Uh, right. About that, uh, I'm really sorry, but we've got a one-China policy here in Canada, so you can't call yourself Republic of China. Is this because you've been training with Uzza China? He's not even in the Olympics. He's boycotting them. Canada, what the heck, man? Why you always gotta play my boy like this? Don't be a bad If you would just recognize my existence, then you'd get the real, real China in your Olympics, and we kick ass. The Olympics are supposed to be about sports, not politics. Oh, now you're being stupid. Stupid. <laughs> You're still out though. Sorry. Hey, don't look at me. I'm gonna boycott your Olympic ass! Oh, just another day in paradise. Oh, shit, it's India! Oh, hey, Goa! I'm here to decolonize you. Goa isn't a colony! It's part of a metropolitan Portugal! Ah, am I right? Ah. If you don't give it back, I'll just do an economic blockade. Ha! It'll take more than that, but everyone knows you don't like a violence. So as long as we don't give you an excuse. Hey, uh, <clears throat> sorry to interrupt, but one of our boats fired at an Indian fishing boat. Uh, there's one casualty. Goa, I'm breaking up with you. So, yeah, basically, we're going to need you all to cut spending to healthcare, uh, to education, to... Oh, it's gonna be, like, so great. Yes, you know, they really haven't been doing that <clears throat> through no fault of our own, of course. <laughs> but with our genius... We'll make Africa great! Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, if it worked for us, why wouldn't it work for these third world nations? Ha <laughs> ha, we're great. <clears throat> so much for in-group bias. <laughs> well, joke's on you, because I, I don't know what that means. I don't know how it is where you come from, but if you cut the spending on healthcare... Oh, I'm sorry. We're not really discussing this right now. Your government's already doing it, so... Wait, what? Hey, relax. You're all doing fine. 
Except for him, he looks terrible. Oh, sh I know what that is! Get us out of here! Get us! Get me out of here! Get me out Oh, sh We forgot about Ebola. Yes, I think we learned a valuable lesson. Yep. So what is it? What is what? The lesson. The one we- Oh, I thought you. I thought you knew it. No, I didn't learn a thing. And you? Not saying as well. Whew. You had me worried for a second. Hey, it's Mr. Spherical. Come back next week for all new videos.